When a filmmaker is making their movie, what should they keep in mind regarding making it and making sure that they get a distribution deal? Are there things that they should target, making the film, changing certain scenes that they know that distributors are going to want? Let's suppose they have their goldmine genre, they realize what they're making and who that audience might be, but in terms of securing a distribution deal, are there certain things they should be aware of in making the film? There are. A lot of them aren't the obvious things in the sense of filmmakers, for the most part, tend to focus on the movie, the movie, the movie. and. Some of them, the more astute ones, will definitely put some time into trying to find a name talent to put into the film. Um, but there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of other details that go into the delivery process of getting a movie to a distributor that have become very important. Having all your agreements in place with your talent, having all you know locations cleared, having uh, you know copyrights to everything, but also having things like music cue sheets, transcripts. There's a lot of these fine details that are in uh, what are called material delivery lists, um, which are basically when you sign your movie over all the stuff you have to give to the distributors so that they can extrapolate and make any, create, you know, any, any type of file spec that any buyer in the world might want. You have to be able to give that to them so that they're not incurring any costs on that back end. That's really your job as a producer. The old vision is, you know, the uh, El Mariachi, you know, I can make a movie for seven, eight thousand dollars and sell it. And while that's true that that sort of happened, it was also a long time ago. And more importantly, the company that bought it had to invest a lot of money in finishing it and completing it and getting the audio fixed and getting the image fixed and a lot of that stuff to make it market ready. Companies aren't willing to do that anymore because the model of supply and demand, there's a ton of supply and there's focused demand. So maybe if you nail that demand, they'll help you out a bit, but it's not going to be much. And so you really have to be you know, aware of what's your responsibility to cover. And there's a lot of great resources on it if you just Google around. So music cue sheets and transcription. So with the transcription, is someone just transcribing it to English and then they're taking that file and then it can be easily done into any other language? Correct. Like, okay. like in addition to that, so it's like it's not the shooting script. It's actually the verbatim word for word what is said. But more importantly, there's time code on the page. So you have a ballpark of what time in the movie it's being said. And that's for subtitling so that when they translate all those subtitles, all those cues, they know about where it's supposed to hit in the movie when they're creating it. There's also things like when you're doing the audio mix, doing what they call M&E tracks, where you separate out, you have your stereo mixed tracks, and then you have these other two tracks that are all of the sounds and music of a movie, but if you're watching it and you just have those two audio tracks playing, every single time somebody speaks, their mouth moves and no words come out. That's because the, we've wiped out all the audio, and the reason is so when you dub it in a foreign language, they only dub the audio, the, the verbal. They don't have to dub the whole movie and remix the whole movie. They just dump in the, the voice. Interesting. Okay. So and, you, like you got to make it ready for that kind of stuff, that kind of thinking, because that's the way distributors think. Right. And then the music uh, cue sheet, what would that be about? A music cue sheet is a lot of broadcasters internationally. Um, every single time a music piece is used that's affiliated with, you know, BMI, ASCAP, or one of the, you know, uh, the whatever you call them, the union, so to speak, um, that the artist is uh, given their fair share of the royalty because their music is being used to sell a product. Ah, okay. So these, these are all... It, a lot of it's legal, a lot of it's documentation, a lot of it's just stuff that you kind of have to showcase. Uh, again, not to protect, well, you should have it to protect you when you're making the movie, but also to protect the distributors so that they know they can engage with your project in the marketplace and they're not going to have any issues later on.